Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy chat. Today I decided to dedicate the reading to the Divine Masculines and as we are approaching the 8th portal, we're actually already in that energy uh, to see what's going on with them, uh, how they got to where they are right now, you know, what was happening in their 3D life, uh, what got them to this current point, what is currently happening with them, like during the portal time, what's the energy like, and, uh, you know, what, what kind of potential does it open up for them in terms of their own past and in terms of the twin plan past. So we're going to focus on that today. Welcome to my channel. Whether you're new, you're coming back. I'm so glad to see you today. And uh, I'm still going to start as an Oracle deck. I've got the Enchanted Map Oracle today. So I'm going to pull a card for, uh, actually for both DM and DF to see what's happening, like what's the focus right now. Uh, something to think about for the coming day and then we'll dive deeper to the DM journey with the tarot. At the end I'm also going to pull some cards of what they would like to tell you Divine Feminine of what is happening to them right now. Okay, let's pull the card for Divine Feminine watching this first of all. What's the theme now? Remember that this is a general reading so take only what resonates for you. And of course, if you're interested in a private reading, uh, do not hesitate to reach out via an email address. Uh, most of the time I'm doing the uh, connection or the kind of the twin flame connection read. So it has to do with both of the twins, but depending on what you're looking for, we can either focus on, the, uh, we can focus on the specific side on divine feminine or divine masculine, or we can keep it kind of like, you know, with a mirroring questions and energies to see what's the dynamic like at the moment. So yeah, let me know, drop me a line. I'll give you more details. If you're looking for coaching, I also do that. Uh, the first session, 20 minute session is gonna be free for us to get to know each other and for me to understand what you're looking for and to let you know how I feel I could be helpful uh, depending on your situation and your goals. Okay, so Divine, fem <laughs> divine Feminines have got the rock bottom card. <sighs> yeah, not the easiest card, but look, it's number 10, by the way. So it's like end of the cycle, right? It's like that 10 of swords energy where... And actually, the, the description of the card in the book says that the good part of this is that there's only the way up from here, right? <laughs> You've reached your rock bottom. So if you're struggling and you, if you feel low, just know that this is your low point right? And from here, and obviously you've been put here for a reason, right? You've been learning some lessons. From here, you can only go up, you can do better, you can heal, uh, you can rejoice, you can find ways of inspiration, and last but not least, you know which direction to go. Like if a certain journey or a certain activity, a certain project that you've tried got you to the rock bottom, now you're like, this is the point where you're like, okay, I've tried everything. It hasn't worked. I'm at the rock bottom point. It hasn't worked. I'm exhausted. I can't take it anymore. Again, remember the Ten of Swords card where the guy is, you know, has ten swords in him and just laying there like, okay, that's the end of the line, <laughs> right? But obviously this is, li this is a figurative point. So that means that maybe there was a situation that you've been holding on to for longer than you should have. With the best intention, maybe, right? To make it right, to make it work, uh, to go through challenges, to be brave and courageous. But this is the point where you're asked to see, to be graceful with yourself, to be kind to yourself, and to remind yourself that your journey, your life is supposed to be of joy and happiness. It's not supposed to be a struggle. I mean, we all go through struggle from time to time. But if it's continuous struggle, if you've tried different things and they don't work, that's even if ultimately at some point, someday, you will take that road, maybe it's road is not for you right now. Just not in the moment, right? Timing is important as well. Okay, what do we have for Divine Masculine? Come into life. Hmm, that's nice. And it's number 29, which is 11. I'm, actually, I'm gonna read it from the book because I don't think I've ever gotten this card in this deck. But I like it. I like the dancing aspect. I like the 
kind of levitating and you can see the ancestors here and kind of rising to the stars on their shoulders using that experience of the generations. Something beautiful is being born in your life. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time, and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it alone or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream, and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your past to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. Nice. What does it mean to show up, Divine Masculines? It means be open-minded and be on the, you know, um, be attentive to what kind of signs you see, to what kind of opportunities come in, right? And uh, try to stay in high vibe, you know, to welcome that new energy. You know, like when we are in the loving and uh, compassionate energy, we are inviting the energy in. Uh, if we are upset or cynical or angry or uh, not trusting, then we kind of push it away. It's like a wall between us and whatever is coming in. So make sure that you're not putting a wall, that you are actually open to those things. It's being divinely orchestrated for you. And that's beautiful. I love this. Something is coming to life. Something you've been manifesting for a while. Okay, let's get into tarot. And the first question, like I was saying, is what has uh, led with kind of 3D uh, events, with kind of karmic life aspects have led divine masculines to this current energy? What was the prerequisite to this 8-8 eight, eight, eight portal uh, period for them? Okay, we have five of swords in reverse. I'm gonna pull clarifiers. Uh, now, what's happening with the energy right now? Like, you're in this time, you're in 8 8. How is it transforming? What is happening for the M Collective on their journey? I've got like a whole bunch of cards. I'm, I'm just gonna shuffle some more. Okay, thank you. We have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And what is the potential of this portal? What's on the other side of the portal for Divine Masculines? And again, in the reverse, Knight of Cups. Okay. The moon at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm getting here is uh, the moon energy is another a uh, strong factor in here and they were just gone through new moon and leo that was pretty big deal for dms and of course uh the even the full moon before that the super moon in capricorn that was those things were also kind of led, leading dms to this current energy point let's clarify five of swords in reverse I'm still gonna do, by the way, I'm gonna do the um, 8 8 portal reading. It's just gonna be, uh, it's gonna have a different aspect to it. And like I was saying, I will focus on the connection. It will be a connection spread. Uh, so it's even different from what I used to do it before. Um, so yeah, I'll look out for that. Uh, we'll have the 8th of August on the on next Monday, but I'll probably do the reading next weekend. So either Saturday or Sunday. Let's clarify Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is just a sneak peek specifically into DM journey. For you also to understand DFs who are watching, you know, how to interpret what's happening during this time. To me overall, it feels a bit overwhelming, the energies. Not necessarily in a bad way, but it's in a way where 
you know, like when you are in an overwhelming energy, you just <sighs> your anxiety level starts coming up just because it's just a lot to take in, a lot happening at the same time. Uh, you know, things like new things are coming in that you're not used to and it can be stressful just because of that. It could be a good thing, but just in that sort of moment of, um, thank you, that's like my confirmation <laughs> from the train. In that moment of all of these shifts and a lot going on at the same time, it can feel like it's too much and it can be stressful. So a little bit more information for you, Queen of Cups, nice. Uh, please clarify Knight of Cups in reverse. Five of Wands, all right. Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. New beginning in 3D. That's the underlying energy. That's the energy that's trying to come in for the twins and for Divine Masculine specifically. So I will look into the connection uh, in that reading next weekend, but for Divine Masculines, definitely there's some new opportunity coming in. And that actually matches very nicely the coming to life card, right? There is something tangible that they've been hoping for, they've been dreaming about that's coming in. It may relate to love and Divine Feminine, may relate to something completely different, but just as well, it's bringing that energy of anticipation of the dream coming true, which is magical. Even if they find out eventually, thank you for that addition, that it wasn't it wasn't that, that good of a dream anyway. You know, like they say, be careful what you're wishing for. When, when it comes to you, then sometimes you're like, uh, no, I'm not really enjoying it. Maybe it's somebody else's dream. I just borrowed it or, you know, I heard them and I thought, yeah, that'd be awesome. Or I was jealous of someone else and I thought, yeah, I want that for me, but I don't really want that, right? But that's an important lesson too, so. Anyways, the energy that was preceding the 8-8 the eight, eight portal, we have 5 of swords in reverse, clarified by 8 of swords upright. So, but this is actually, because it's the after pair, this is the part when the person gets freed up by someone else, so they get some help. So they were in this energy when they were, they were seeing certain things that are not honest and not true in their life. They were shown that, like they were actually, you know, like it's not like I'm giving you the opportunity to see. No, they were actually pushed towards seeing it very, very vividly. Or, you know, like if it's somebody who doesn't see it, you like very well, have bad eyesight, they're given good glasses so they can actually see. That sort of idea, right? Like they were forced to see how things are unfolding and uh, how they were actually trapped in some of those scenarios. They didn't even realize it. But it's not like, <clears throat> and it wasn't as much, that's an interesting part of it. It wasn't as much as the circumstances of life that put them into those scenarios where they didn't feel good, where they couldn't be themselves. But it was more about themselves making those choices. It's like, I could have done it differently. Or I didn't have to agree to this, right? Or I could have said what I really felt. Right? They start seeing all of these things, which with all these swords and especially with these cards, of course, bring some, some of that stress, right? There's a lot of overthinking now. Now that they see that or they have seen that, they started, the process has started of deep analysis of what is going on, their patterns and how they make decisions. That's the prerequisite. Now we see what's happening during the 8-8 portal energy. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, clarified by Queen of Cups. Yeah, so here we get the energy of the Divine Feminines, actually. And they're seeing that maybe they don't have to be as rigid in their ways. They don't have to have a, you know, well-logicated and financially safe plan for everything, which is the usual way DMs approach and like masculine energy is approaching something, right? Or, you know, they've been doing it like that for, I don't know, five years, 20 years, and they want to keep doing it that way. And of course, as soon as they get into, like, if that hits their connection with DF, there is a problem, right? Because we are not supposed to be like that. 
that's not true that's not natural and that's one of the biggest templates that is getting broken in the connection and it works both ways we often we've been hard on ourselves as dfs because we feel like we have a lot of um, work to do in terms of not having expectations to our masculine and how they behave and what they give us how they talk to us right it's all free will right and we're not entitled to our dm uh behaving like a kind and loving person right or behaving in a certain way or doing certain things that we expect to do to them to do right but it actually is worse the other way around too it's just a lot harder for the masculines to understand that because they are not as aware about the journey and especially if your relationship wherever you are doing together wherever social roles you have if that i mean actually in any role you have for them it still means like it that's how it works with the human psyche in general that there are already some prejudices there are certain expectations like who are you to me are you my boss are you my colleague are you my hairdresser I don't know, are you my tax advisor, right? And based on that role, I already have certain expectations from how you are supposed to behave, how I'm supposed to behave. What's the, what's the frame of obligations and freedom there? And that's what DMs are going to be doing anyway, even more so probably. But that's where they're going to hit the wall and be like, okay. And with time, they will have to accept that with Divine Feminine, they can't apply those rules. And they're learning it the hard way because they will feel, you know, to a certain extent, they will be pushing that, pushing that, pushing for that until it's like it blows up and they're like, okay, I still want them in my life. I mean, we have a great thing going on, but it looks like I can't just play by the old rules anymore. Right? And have to make, sorry guys, I have to make certain compromises. So this is them practically learning not to be as rigid, be more forthcoming and, you know, being that more of that loving energy that the divine feminine is in because of how much we accept, how much comp compassion and love we have for our person, right? And no matter what we forgive, we come back and we still have that loving energy, that cup to give them, right? They're getting inspired by that. And last but not least, we have uh, what's on the other side, what's the potential in this aided portal for the masculines. We have Knight of Cups in reverse, clarified by Five of Wands. <sighs> yeah, so to me, this is a... This is a healthier way to handle conflict, where it's not too much of a sacrifice, it's not too much of uh my way or the highway it's about treating any kind of um debate or conflict or argument is an opportunity to find that loving space to understand the other person right and to at least try to tune in and see how you can resonate how you can find common ground it's it's actually a very nice interpretation of five of wands card in the after tarot and this is the after tarot so if you remember in the classic tarot they're fighting with each other and here a few minutes later we see that it was a game really you know nobody's hurt they're just taking some rest because they've been at this game for a while and they're tired now I'm like whew okay okay let's take a breather <laughs> right but it wasn't that it wasn't to hurt each other right it was them have like you know having fun in a certain way right so it's seeing the positive aspect of any kind of collision or energy shift where wherever uh we see someone behaving in a different way that we would expect and it it stresses us out right so instead of getting angry or afraid upset or jealous it's about being in that healthy energy okay what is it teaching me or at least trying to understand where that person is coming from why are they behaving that way i don't think they want to hurt me right it's all in my head something like that okay last but not least what do divine masculines would like to tell what would dms like to tell divine feminines 
during this time? What's going on with them? What would they like to share? Okay, we have quite a few. <clears throat> I run out of fear that you will see the real me. Yeah, that's them facing now the truth of them making some <sighs> unpopular decisions, something that wasn't very smart or kind. Please don't give up on me. Yep, I'm trying to overcome my commitment issues. Big time. That's part of it, right? When we have those expectations and we push another for another person with those, that's part of that fear, actually. I'm trying to stop fighting how I feel about you. Okay, I hope this has been good for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again for new readings very, very soon. Bye everyone.